at 10 o'clock, as the coronavirus sweeps throughout the country, crime rates have dropped since millions of Americans are stuck inside. 53 law enforcement agencies in two dozen states found a 92% drop in traffic and person stops, driving down DUIs and drug arrests, according to USA Today. At the same time, domestic violence has gone up to 30%. We sent our Nightline reporter Rob Hagan to find out what the crime rates look like in Grand Junction. He stands by live with more. Rob? Katrin, that analysis claims to be the largest study yet measuring crime rates in the U.S. during the coronavirus. Simply put, if businesses are closed and hot spots for crime are closed, like clubs, bars, and big events, there's no one to rob. So I set out to find out about the crime rates in Grand Junction, and I talked with a spokesperson for the Grand Junction Police Department. But more importantly, I spoke to a recent victim of crime. COVID-19 has taken a bite out of crime. People are staying at home. They're with their families. They're with their kids, and that means a decrease for calls of service. But a decrease in calls is just that. The coronavirus doesn't rest, and neither does crime. There are scams going on during COVID-19. People think that this is a time of urgency for a lot of people, so we're seeing some of that. We're seeing some, we're still seeing auto thefts. Those things don't stop just because there's a stay-at-home order in place. And artists aren't stopping either. I love mechanical art, so I build motorized bicycles, scooters, um, go-karts, you name it. This artist builds bikes for the less fortunate, but one bike is more than art. It's a piece of his heart, and now it's broken. I was mostly concerned about my 1952 Schwinn Deluxe, and it was definitely converted over to more like a moped. That night, I cleaned it up, aired up the tires, had it ready to go, put new gas in it, went to sleep, and I came out drinking some coffee, and I felt naked. I was like, something's wrong. And I looked over in the corner and a bunch of my bikes were, they were gone. People may feel violated when they're robbed, but others are missing a piece of themselves. When times were tough, I always leaned on the arts to help me see me through. And to have a piece that me and my brothers worked on, building our relationship, to have it stolen, it, it it gets right to the soul, right to my soul. Now, Callie with the GJPD says even though we're at a safer at home order, if you're not feeling safe at home, give the Grand Junction Police Department a call. They're here to serve and protect always. And Ben wants you to know that he is constructing coloring books during COVID-19 to keep you busy and to entertain the artist in you. Just visit him at his Facebook at Ben Wolf. That's W-O-L-F-E. And if you have any information on the 1952 converted Schwinn bike, call the Grand Junction Police Department. First on the Western Slope and live at the safest place in town, the Grand Junction Police Department, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Katrin? Rob, thank you very much.